A very pleasant good evening to all of you, and welcome to beautiful Baton Rouge, Louisiana. It's a gorgeous evening for college softball, and that's exactly what we've got on the SEC ESPN Network as number six LSU hosts the Auburn Tigers in a key league matchup. 3-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. The ball gets away from Bergeron, and Woolers does not draw the throw at first base. She's aboard on a strikeout wild pitch. Well, it's a, you know, she throws that drop ball. Not in the series, but uh, pitching has not been a problem for Auburn. Offense has been. Got her on that uh, drop ball in the dirt. One of four Auburn Tigers who have done that. And the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. She was late on that hummer. Here we go at 3-2. The runner on first will be moving. Ground ball to Petty. The sure-handed one makes the play. And even though the first Auburn Tiger reached, no problems. Game. Newland takes a full cut and hits a top spin liner into center field for a base hit. Briggs That's gonna gets be enough hit. on it and is safe at first base. Just a little slow roller to the right side. There's the one, two. Let's see what Pleasance is able to do with it. She went back outside with a breaking pitch. It's popped up and the second baseman grabs it near the bag. With a minimum of 60, 60 at bats, all very healthy over 300. This ball is lobbed into right center field. It's caught, and a throw back to second is close. But Newland is able to beat the throw. Here is Rudity. That's off the first baseman's glove, and it rolls behind the back. Here's the throw to the plate in plenty of time for the out. Newland is thrown out on a. A chance for Petty on the backhand side. Safe at first base. Whoa, are we gonna challenge that? I set up in that uh, media control room. Tresvik at first base leads Auburn with 14 stolen bases. That was a good decision by Pleasance. I thought for a moment she might, what, 800 more though overall to get to you. Look at Pleasance, look at Pleasance. She makes that appear, the first baseman. And this will be handled in right field by Mackenzie Ruderdy. Auburn leaves a base runner. We move on to the bottom of the second inning. It's a moment she'll remember a long time, but she remembers nothing about it while she was rounding the bases. <laughs> that euphoria had kicked in, had it not? Yep. The 3-2 pitch banged up the middle. Shortstop's got it. Steps on the back for one. Over to first for two. She was moving that way. A rain. R-A-Y-N-E. Ground ball left side. Weidra is there. And Lowe faces only three batters. Erzon yeah. makes the overhand throw for the out. We used to see pitchers throw it underhand and whip it over there like a pitch. Opportunities to recognize and raise funds in an anti-cancer campaign. To Since it's should early bring, in the morning. Should I bring the horse Oxygen. liniment and, and everything else? <laughs> no. Don't be There's silly. There's a base hit by McCrary with two outs after a strikeout by Willers. Has a number four RPI ranking nationally. And there is another close pitch that's ruled in Auburn's favor, so the inning continues as think, Packer was... Except when they really pull it, and it's obvious. Ground ball left side. Shortstop's Ooh. got it. Safe at that the plate. That was awkward. And the throw to the plate, not in time. That was very awkward at shortstop. LSU fails to get an out. Pleasance see. over see. to Petty covering was not in time, and the runner just kept moving from second base. That was KK McCrary. Yeah. And Auburn leads 1 0. Let's see here. Does she fumble the ball? 
Yeah, she kind of has to double clutch. Maybe Petty wasn't there in time. Well, she stumbled as well and did yeah. not get a lot of velocity on the throw. I know it. A base hit here in the outfield would play a couple. High chop to Pleasance, throws over to first base in time. Pleasance with another remarkable throw, and Auburn immediately is calling for a review. After review, the ruling on the field is upheld. The runner is out. Offensively and offensively. The pitch lifted on the infield. The shortstop backs up. Peralta's got it. K.K. McCrary lines it up and makes the catch in left field. They've got 16 wins and no losses. Weidra makes the play at first base from third. It's a 1-2-3 inning. And we go to the fourth. Auburn won. El the pitch to Penta is smacked right back from whence it came. Make the pitcher handle it. Burrs on over to Petty covering. The sacrifice is successful by Roach. Pick up a bag of hot nuts on your way into the and think ballpark of, and then bring them up to the press I box. I was going to say, and think of Lynn and I. Will she get her? I don't think so. Very alert movement by Smith from. And I said Bergeron is uh, she's earning her scholarship in this game. Pleasance will keep the runner at third and then whips it over to Gutierrez. Two outs. Putting school in Chattanooga, Tennessee, so she could play travel ball in Tennessee. Swing and a miss. Auburn leaves a base runner at third. Replaces Amelia Leck for Auburn. Let's see if Pleasance can get something started. Out, hitter. B.I. Bigger and stronger and, in my opinion, the most improved player on the team. This one popped up to Weedra at third base, one out. Milanowski at first base and Smith in left field. Out on a close play at first. But Dell is able to move up into scoring position with two outs. Belted high and deep to right field. Tresvik is back. Tresvik looks up. Carly Petty has done it again. It's her second home run in as many games. This one gives the Tigers of LSU the lead with a two-run shot over the right field wall. You can puck her up and kiss that baby goodbye as Carly Petty suddenly finds the home run swing. Petty with the power, stepping up once again to ignite her Tiger team. And like I said, she earned that. No wind assisted home run there. It bounced off the side of the scoreboard. Coming to Kelly Lynch. Hot shot on one hop, picked up by Rose, the out at first base. But Tennessee two, LSU nothing in the top of the third. That's on That's ESPNU. Ooh, good Newland try. diving for it, can't get it. Briggs is backing it up, throws it back to the infield from the warning track. A team that's only won three games. This bunt Ooh. is thrown low and gobbled up by Petty. Good job by Petty. Petty just saved a run for sure. Base. And that was a good bunt because that ball was in her eyes and she forced it down. Packer oh, slams it and then play. the double play. Packer ripped it. To the backhand side, Maddox McKee. Here's Macy Bergeron. First pitch swinging, pops it up behind second base. And there's the out grabbed by Peralta. A smash to left, that's down in front of Smith. Maddox McKee. A liner to the second baseman, and there's the second out. 
Roach was right there. She tried. She is from Hoover, Alabama, so that would make sense. And the chop down to Rose Roach. She throws it over to first base where Milanowski is waiting. And emphasis to just fine tune everything. Ooh, that's a base hit. Under the glove of Gutierrez. That oh. is a base hit, but that's a ball Gutierrez he normally handles easily. Tag for Peralta after the infield hit. That's off of Raylene Gutierrez, and that's... everybody is safe, and we have just seen some weird yeah. stuff happen. Gutierrez, again, normally makes that play. But... Ball foul. That's down. There's only one play and a high throw, but Petty is able to grab it. McKee has flirted with danger on a couple of throws from Kinbase with only one out. Oh, is this a squeeze? Roach pops it up. The runner scrambles back to third. Roach fails to get the ball on the ground, and there's the second out, and that is a huge out for a third to get a good to... wide view. Yeah, just trying to get a base hit, I guess. Oh, this is tough. Pleasance makes one whale of a play in keeping that ball in possession, but there was no place to get the out. In her first at bat, collects the infield hit. Watch this chop. Pleasance right here makes one whale of a play. I mean, that is unbelievable. That saved a run. Saved a run. But the we've go got a tie run. ball game. So now it's a count of two strikes to Annabelle Weidra. And that will take care of business. Weidra is called out on strikes. The 3-2 pitch. Smacked into center field. It stays in the ballpark and is caught near the warning track by Packer. By swinging at ball four. Here's the 3-2 pitch. And she strikes out looking. Penta rips the outside corner with some heat and left a scar on the edge. I mean, say that they had a pitcher that threw 70. I just started laughing. Mm -hmm. A chop to the first baseman. And Milanowski is able to get back to the bag and return to third base. That's a base hit into the left field corner. Newland is chasing it down. Fires to second, not in time. A leadoff double and Woolers. He's That's exactly what a good leadoff batter can do. No, nope, Willers does stay in the game at second base. This ball is driven to the warning track. Rudity comes up firing. It's cut off. But Auburn on a long fly ball out to right by one out. A runner at third. It's big right Man, here. And that's a better pitch. A cold third strike. The 3-2 pitch coming again. Ball four. Well, that's that, not the end of the world because it went foul at the end. McKee fumbles it at third. A run scores. A one hopper that McKee appeared to be in great shape to finish the play at first base, and she could not squeeze it. But she's in perfect position for this. We couldn't see it on that replay. But McKee went right to the ball. The ball hit in the middle of her left. No secrets anymore. Each ball club knows everything about each other. Peralta swings through it, or rather Pinta swings through it and strikes out to end the inning. But Auburn has gone ahead. With One of the best pitchers in the lead, goes right at Petty and strikes her out on an elevated pitch. And that rise ball moving through the zone. Ground ball through the hole on the left side. Lynch with a key single and a clutch swing and drove it through the left side to Woolers' left and Peralta's right. And Oh, and she pulled out a changeup. She got her in a ball in the dirt. The throw has to be made to first base. It is, and the Auburn Tigers have come from behind. After leading one nothing, they trailed two to one going to the fourth. They picked up unearned runs in the fifth and the sixth, uh, the sixth and the seventh.
And we've got a ball game that has gone in favor of Auburn. Three to two, the final. Oh, that's the fifth win over a ranked opponent this year for Auburn.